What is going on guys? It's Real Touch Gmail here back with another Java game development tutorial. And today what we're going to be doing is we are going to actually be killing off the enemies with our bullets and we are going to pretty much complete the game in a sense of that yes, it's technically a game but not really because it's not very good of a game. We're going to have to tweak it, you know, add health bars, add menus, all that stuff, but the main mechanic will be there. All right, so if we go ahead and run it real quick, right off the bat, as you can see, we have we have this, and as you can see, it has collision detection. So let's get right into it. So first off, in the bullet, I'm just gonna erase this because I'm gonna want to check for collision in the enemy. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and go into the enemy Java class here, and I'm gonna import game. So private game game, and I'm gonna import the controller. And the reason I'm importing the controller is if we go into the controller here, we have this method right here, remove entity. And that's what we're gonna need to remove this actual uh, class out of the list. Okay, so then we'll, we can go ahead and put it in the constructor. So controller C, game, game. And then just do the classic, this I can make this game, just setters here. All right. So now that all of that's in place, let's go ahead and go into the tick method and we'll say if physics physics collision. Now this is going to be this and game.ea. Now this is where it gets a little bit odd because this is an entity B, so we want to check entity A's uh, list. And we actually, in the physics class here, we don't actually have if I can find it. We don't actually have the same, we don't actually have entity B as a list, we only have entity A. Or, or we have entity B as a list, we don't have entity A, that's what I'm trying to say. So what we can do is we can actually copy and paste this. And instead of entity A, we just change it to B and change this to A. And we can do this in Java. Uh, you can have the same name for a method as long as the parameters are different. So that's something pretty cool within Java. All right, so now let's go ahead and head back to the enemy here. And as you can see, now we don't have an error. And what we can say is C dot remove entity this. So it's gonna remove this entity. And in our controller here, it's whining because we don't have game. So let's go ahead and import game, private game, 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 Game and, and you'll notice that all of this repeats back to the origin. So we say this and game. There we go. So this all goes back to our game class and when these are actually initialized. So for here we need this because we're, we want the, uh, the game. Right here we have game and in our game here we just refer to it to itself as this. So let's run it, and if we shoot, boom! The enemies now disappear. But now there is a slight problem. We can kill all of them off and none, no more spawn. So now we're gonna add the main mechanic into the game. So if you remember in, late, in uh, previous tutorials, we had enemy count and enemy killed. Well, here's where we're gonna actually use those. So with our bullet, since we already have in our previous tutorials, we have put getters and setters. Uh, in our enemy, once the enemy is killed off, all we have to do is say game dot set, oops, set killed count, or I'm sorry, I think it's uh, set count killed. And we're gonna say game dot get Counts. I'm sorry. What's it called? Let's see. What's this method called? Get enemy killed. Okay, enemy killed. Here we are. So we are not correct. <laughs> so it's get enemy killed and then get enemy killed right here. Plus one. All right. So now what this does is basically uh, with our getters and setters within the game class, it sets our enemy killed. It gets what we have and then it adds one to that. All right, so there we go. 
Now if we go to our game and we go into the tick method and we do a simple if statement, if enemy killed is greater than equal to enemy count, then we can set enemy count to plus equal to and then enemy killed we'll reset that back to zero and then we can say c dot create enemy enemy count there we go so let's go ahead and run it here we have the spaceships and we'll kill them off and as you can see they respawn but in bigger numbers like sand people all right so there we go go leave a like go and subscribe uh, next tutorial, I'm thinking to get into menus or health bars or some something like that. Again, this we could adjust the spawnings a little bit to make it a little bit more, you know, maybe not clump, maybe not spawn them such in clumps would probably make it better. But we we can figure that out next tutorial. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe. I hope you learned a thing or two, and let's go ahead and try for 40 likes. I will see you guys next time. Peace.